Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456 and today we've got a whole bunch of new information for you guys on the brand new Call of Duty game. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is officially confirmed with the reveal trailer. If you'd like to watch the full thing in its entirety down below in the description, I have a link. You can go check that out and watch the full thing all the way through with the audio and everything like that. But we're going to be breaking down all of these weird symbols, the coordinates, the 115 zombies has been confirmed again as if it was never appearing in the first place. We always knew zombies was coming back, but once again, the 115 has been confirmed. Confirmed. We're going to be talking about all this and more in this trailer, so let's go ahead and jump into the breakdown here. So this first image that I wanted to stop right here and show you guys has a few different things. First of all, you see 115 appear three different times in this. Now, it's actually kind of surprising to me that they included the numbers 115 inside of the trailer that for just for the single player. The, the single player is always released first, then followed by multiplayer, and then zombies to finish it off. It really surprises me that they included the 115 inside of this uh, initial trailer to kind of confirming zombies for us, but want to get once again 115 element 115 is the main thing in zombies that drives all the zombies it keeps the zombies alive everything like that there's a, there's a huge storyline behind that but i'm not going to get into it 115 equals zombies and that is initially just right right off the bat confirmed in this trailer the second thing is these uh, these little i don't know what it is this some sort of symbol it looks like some sort of team faction but it is much much more kind of distinct than everything else in this trailer we have a whole bunch of weird symbols a whole bunch of just random things from just rotating around what looks like coding what looks Looks like random Chinese symbol stuff like that and a couple other things we're gonna get into but this one looks like it might be some sort of team faction something like that not really sure what it means but it definitely looks uh, it looks very very distinct and last but not least we have this image right here which is actually going to link us to Egypt this is this is gonna be one of the locations in the campaign it has something to do with the location of maybe this character maybe where this character is gonna go maybe where just something happens in the campaign that is a uh, is a value but once again this is all of the stuff that we can pull out of this image right here so moving on just a little bit farther that we have just again the rotating of the image we see everything that is going on in there but i wanted to stop it right here and show you guys once again they are teasing the snapchat there's not much to talk about here we've been covering the snapchat stories for all this week there's been so much hype going around them and uh, there's really nothing else to talk about with these snapchat stories but next up is a very very interesting image we get here of the of the character holding a pistol it seems like there's actually two different character models that are used in this kind of teaser trailer one of them he is holding a knife one of them is he is holding two pistols much like the initial Black Ops 1 reveal, which I'm going to put up on your screen right here. As you can see, this character strongly matches what we're going to see at the very, very end product. However, this first character has a pistol and a knife, and you're going to see that in just a second. And in the pistol, it looks kind of like a futuristic, maybe a current day pistol. It does not look like an old fashioned pistol, at least to me, in any way, shape or form. It seems like this one's going to be futuristic to modern, and uh, this Call of Duty is going to be, uh, it, it seems like it might span multiple time periods, at least in the campaign, but for the multiplayer, for what we've seen so far this is what i think it's going to be so zooming in right here we get some more coordinates and this is actually going to take us to switzerland and this is the image right here of where exactly that takes us and again this seems like it's not going to be based very much in america just from these two different locations that we get confirmed right off the bat in the teaser so uh, very very interesting that we see all of this and let's go ahead and move on here so the next image we see some japanese numbering on the knife here which is uh, something that i mentioned earlier this character model is actually holding the knife which is very interesting that they, they chose two different character models at least that's what it seems here but anyway this is what it says right here these are the japanese numbering and it actually says 514 and if if i had to guess i'm gonna guess that on 514 we're gonna get either some sort of multiplayer reveal maybe a second trailer or something like that because on 426 which is later on in this month we are going to get the full reveal of the game which they have this at the end of the trailer they have the world review blah 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 but it seems like this is going to be a second significant date 514 is is what the numbers actually represent what these symbols represent and it seems like this is possibly when we can be getting the next big installment for Call of Duty. Moving on a little bit farther, we have this faction logo. Once again, the little trident here, and it turns out that this thing is actually used in multiple different places around the internet. I don't think it has one specific purpose. I think it's just a random logo that you can buy the rights to, you can use the rights for. It doesn't have any significance and link to anything else on the internet because there's just so many places this is found. And uh, initially, I thought that maybe it had something to do with the sunscreen company that used this. However, that is just totally not true. It's totally not, not confirmed at all, and that's something you need to worry about. But this is the logo 
ago. It, is, it has appeared twice now. It appeared in the tree image and now in this image. So we're gonna have to see where this where this takes us, where this leads us, and I'm very excited to see what this what this logo actually means. So next up, I wanted to freeze right here very very briefly because this seems like it is something attached to the character's arm. The way the lights are shining, the way it kind of has a square shape on the character's arm. It doesn't really look, strike me as an exosuit or anything like that, but maybe some sort of device, maybe some sort of tracking pad. I don't know what it could be used for. I don't even know if that is what it is, but it really does seem like a significant portion of his arm is covered up by this that, by this square shape. Maybe it's just the way the, the textures went. Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with anything at all. I just wanted to point it out to you guys and again, get your feedback on this. So moving up on the end of this breakdown, I just wanted to show you guys the shot of all of the different symbols. There has to be more hidden inside of this trailer. Treyarch would not make a trailer that just had everything out there in the open. You just have to slow it down a little bit and you find everything. I know there's going to be codes. I know there's going to be things discovered about this trailer for the coming weeks, the coming months, because Treyarch is freaking just insane with their Easter eggs. They, they really know how to make the community work for the information. They really know how to tease stuff, as you guys saw by the Snapchat teasers all week. So you guys can, you can, you can definitely, definitely say that there's going to be more hidden inside this trailer that's going to be found in the next upcoming weeks. But this is just a shot of all the different possibilities and different things that we can find out just based on what, on what we can see inside of this little kind of model character. So last but not least, the information is all said and done, at least for now. We're going to be finding out much, much more about this trailer coming out in the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months, hopefully some new zombies information, because as you guys know, zombies is my home. Zombies is where I love to play, and uh, I just cannot wait for it. But there it is, the one, the two, and the three, and the world reveal on 4-26-15, and maybe in addition with that 5-14 date that we saw inside of this trailer. Anyway, guys, that is going to about wrap it up. I hope you have enjoyed, and if you have, make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you guys stay tuned for all the latest and greatest Black Ops 3 information. I told you guys it was Black Ops 3, and what do you know? came out and it was Black Ops 3. There's just so many, so many signs about this and I'm just super, super pumped that we uh, that we finally got this reveal and we finally can say for sure it's Black Ops 3. Anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed once again. If you have, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.